Hi, I'm Ken Lebo with InsureTech Express. And today I want to talk to you about a revolutionary software solution for life insurance called eRequirement. This is a platform that was developed by Paperless Solutions Group, which is an MIB company. And it, anyone who's in the life insurance world and has to contact clients for requirements after a life insurance has, uh, application has been submitted um, knows that this can be sometimes a long and painful process. But this software solution called eRequirement makes it so easy, so fast for collecting information that the underwriter or, um, or case manager needs to get this case placed in force. And we all know that cycle time is critical. The quicker you process that case and get, get it placed, the higher the placement ratio, which equates to getting more money into your pocket, your bottom line. So this platform, what's so great about it is it's an independent solution. It's not tied to EAP. It's not tied to your administration system. Yet the status is communicated to all the trading partners in the hierarchy structure. So let me show you how so it works. This is a demo site, and I'm going to walk you through the high level uh, functionality and the process so you understand it. Number one is who's the user of this tool? Well, it's going to be either the carrier who's trying to get requirements from the client, whether it's underwriting, delivery, or administrative requirements, could be the producer, you know, insurance advisor, or it could be a direct marketer who, again, is trying to capture requirements from the client. So the first thing what you would do as that uh, distributor agent or carrier is you need to pick the carrier unless you are the carrier. So I'm going to pick banner life as the example, legal in general. And I'm going to then pick the state, which is I'm in North Carolina. So I'll pick North Carolina and then I'm going to pick a form. So let's just pick a, let's say, I'll know a tobacco questionnaire. Let's say they said, yes, they use tobacco. Now, we're also going to include custom questionnaires, okay, because what we want to do is to, if we have a special question, you know, a lot of times, you know, requirements can be medical, it could be forms, all right, but there's also questions an underwriter may ask, may ask like we need to verify your social security number, or we see that there was a bankruptcy. What was the date the last judgment was settled? So we need to be able to ask those questions and get those answers back from the client, not on the telephone, not on an email, but on a easy to communicate system e-requirement. So I'm now going to add a second form, trust certification client signature. You can add as many forms as you want that you need completed and or signed. Now, we need to get the client's information here. Now, I'm going to type in a client, but if you have a CRM or a policy administration system with the API and the integration, you'll be able, this stuff can automatically pre-fill. But just for this case, I'm going to say uh, Ken Lebo, which is me. I'll pretend I'm the client, Ken at InsuredTechExpress.com. Policy number, we're going to call it B1234. Case number C1234. Last for the social security number, I'm going to say 1234. Driver's license number and C1234. Keeping it consistent, zip code 27614. And date of birth, I'll say 0101. No, that's not my date of birth. One nine eight zero okay now i'm going to request the forms all right and now um here's the so here's the questionnaire so whatever i need them to answer like i will just click here 
and it highlights it in yellow. That way we know the client needs to fill it out. Okay. And there we go. So I highlight, just double click to get the yellow highlighted. If there's a, if there's a question I don't need answered, that's fine. What if they already completed the form, but they forgot to answer a question on the form? Well, we can send that form back and then highlight that in yellow. So that's super cool. So I'm going to click next. Okay, now this is a trust certificate. So I'm just going to uh, just put the date and uh, and that's it, just to keep it simple. I'm not going to have them fill all this stuff out. Okay. Okay. Um, all right, now we now we get to these custom questions. So add a question. One is I could do a free form text. So I could just say, hey, what was the date your last judgment was, was filed? We see that you um, uh, filed for bankruptcy. You know, so it could be any question and that give the ability for the client to answer the question, all right? Or we have some pre-made custom questionnaires and you can add more, it's a library. This is an example library. So if we do need to say, hey, um, social security number. So on this pre-form custom questionnaire, please verify your social security number. If I want to modify the text a little bit just for this one time, I could do something like, uh, dear Ken, comma, please verify your social security number. And uh, click save and continue. Okay, after you have selected your forms and your custom questionnaire that you want to send to the client, this brings you to a dashboard. And this is where you're going to be able to view, modify, track what's going on with the status of these requirements that you need to uh, collect. And so I'm going to go ahead and hit the email button. And just go to Ken Lebo. There's my email address. Click send. Okay, now I'm the client. And I'm going to open up my inbox and I see this email that's popped up. Dear Ken, please see the link below. And this, this is a template, so it can be modified. Click here to sign your forms or complete your forms or we need additional information. But this is the an email that's, that's tailored towards your organization um, and with the signature at the bottom, et cetera, that's going out to the client. Client, go ahead and clicks on it. And first, they got to authenticate, authenticate the client, okay? So we are going to type in the zip code. It all needs to match. That's for your social security number. Remember, I put in 1234. And your driver's license number, I put NC1234. And now I'm going to click authenticate. And there we go. That works. So look, there's the two questions in yellow I need to answer. Have you smoked cigarettes? I'm going to say no. Were you advised to stop smoking or using tobacco by a physician result? I'm going to say no to that. Okay. So that's the first question, right? Um, the tobacco questionnaire. I click next. And now we have the trust certificate. Remember, I only highlighted the one field because um, for the purpose of time. So I'm answering the one field on this one. And then the third question is, dear Ken, please verify your social security number. I'm going to say 111-22-1234. And that answer is now going back to the carrier and or the producer system. It could be going back to both. Now it's time to sign. So all you do is you click next signature and you click sign. Then next signature, click sign. So it's easy to e-sign and it puts the time, date, and all that kind of stuff. Next signature, click sign, save and finish. You can review the document if you like. You've now finished. So I should be able to go back to my dashboard. And I should be able to see this is the time and date that uh, the email was sent, right? Um, and... I should see that the status is now signed. You have now seen the power of e-requirement. All right, now let me give you some stats, really important. On average, when using this tool, requirements are collected 
within 1.4 days on average. The industry average is at least seven times that. That's how quick we're getting it and improving cycle time. In addition, if we're only trying to collect a signature or we are trying to get form signed, okay, 72% of the time it's done within the first 24 hours. Client e-signs, hits a button, and it goes back. So this is the power of e-requirement. So I would contact PSG so you can ask more questions, see a more in-depth uh, demo if you like. Um, Bill Wallacek is the contact over, over at Paperless Solutions Group at MIB who will be able to help you. Here's his email address. And here is the URL of the website so you can read more about it as well. Thank you.